Good day, old chap. Men have been called a lot of things over the years, to say the least. Yet, there's also this interesting small pool of generic terms which have come into existence for men too. While terms for men exist all over the world, the ones we're focusing on today are the ones that are most popular here in the United Kingdom, though they are used in other places too, of course. These are terms you may be familiar with, might use yourself, or maybe even be referred to as one before. So, let's look into these British terms for men. Why don't we kick things off with one of the most known ones, lad. Lad is easily one of the most popular generic terms for men in the UK. And while it can be used for anyone, in some cases it is more aimed towards younger people. Lad has in recent decades however picked up a bit of an image for itself. The 90s and 2000s saw a huge boom in what is now referred to as lad culture which encompasses the kind of men who like to go out drinking all the time and get up to all sorts of shenanigans, shall we say. Lad culture is a whole can of worms and is even seen as a relic of the past to some already. While it surged into popularity at the turn of the millennium, the word goes way back. In Old English, it was initially spelt as lad being L-A-D-D-E, maybe laddie or ladder, I'm not sure, but a lot of Old English had like extra words and on the end like that sort of old timey shoppy sort of thing, you know what I mean, but anyway, that meant foot soldier. From here however, we aren't entirely sure as to where the name comes from. One leading theory is that it comes from the term of lead, as in one who gets led, which fits the whole foot soldier origin as soldiers tend to be led by a higher up of some kind. Let's carry on with the term of chap. Chap isn't used all that much these days. It's seen as a term used more in Britain's past by the upper classes of society. It's a really old fashioned term with phrases like good day old chap being a caricature of a generic posh English guy who would say something like that. Not me, I'm not a generic posh English guy, I hope I'm not anyway. Maybe I am, who knows, maybe you think I'm really posh. I'm not posh. Anyway, we know a lot about the origin of the term chap, unlike lad, thankfully, as chap is simply a shortening of the term of chapman. Chapman unto itself simply means trader, as in a merchant or something. Though oddly enough, it was also used to refer to a customer too. Both the seller and the buyer could be called a chapman, but whatever the case, Chapman became a common term for men because most men were either buying or selling something, and eventually it'll shorten to just chap. Before we continue, I want to say a huge thank you to my most recent patrons and super thanks leavers. Say thank you to new patrons Burning Rosary, Fluch, probably right pronunciation there, and Sten Varek, and super thanks leavers Cody Gizzle and Amelda G1394. Patreon is the best way to financially support Name Explain, and donating just $1 a month gets you ad-free videos, a chance to say what names are explained, an exclusive monthly newsletter, and your name at the end of these videos. All of that can be found at patreon.com forward slash Name Explain, which will be linked down below. Conversely, if you want to just make a one-time donation, you can leave a super thanks directly in the comments section of any of my videos here on YouTube. They help out tremendously too. Thank you. Anyway, carrying on we have the term of bloke. Unlike lad and chap, bloke doesn't have any particular stereotype linked with it. It's not like chap which is seen as being posh or like lad which is a link with young immature men. Most men can be called blokes. Though I reckon it really wouldn't be used as much for younger people like you wouldn't call a little toddler a bloke. Like, what's this bloke doing over here pooing his diaper? Why did I say diaper? I'm English, this should be nappy. Huge tangent, let's carry on. We aren't exactly sure as to where bloke comes from however, though we have a couple theories, both of which have the term coming from very different origins. One theory is that it comes from Celtic roots with their word of clock, which simply means a large stubborn person. I can see why men would end up being called this that's for sure. The other idea is that it might come from Hindi roots with their word of look, which simply means a man. This very British word, coming from either Celtic or Hindi root, makes a lot of sense. These are both languages that have heavily influenced British English, with Celtic influence from languages like Irish and Welsh, and Hindi influence from British rule in India. One I ought to mention quickly is fella. This, like bloke, hasn't got a connotation to it other than being a generic term for men. It's also probably the one that has the most use outside of Britain too. I'm 
pretty sure Fella is popular in other English-speaking nations like the USA and Ireland. I think Seamus in WWE often refers to people as shit fella, and he's Irish, that makes sense. And I can imagine like, what you doing there fella, being like a USA term as well, so I think fella has a wider scope. Uh, that's, there's not all that much to explain of this one however, as it's simply a shortening slash corruption or fellow, as in like, a fellow person, fellow fella, that's where that one comes from. Though perhaps the most British term for a man has to be geezer. Geezer is linked to a specific part of Britain too. That being London, Giza has an image for itself like lad, with the kind of man who enjoys being at the pub all day. They might be referred to as a geezer. Maybe even someone who's a tad more no-nonsense. Think of the likes of Ray Rinston or Danny Dyer, who is quite possibly the nation's favourite geezer. Sweat. This word came about from really odd roots, as it derived from street performers. Mummer is a term for a medieval actor who would perform in plays with no sounds. In some cases, these mummers would wear disguises as part of their character. These kinds of mummers would then be referred to as disguisers, which was shortened to just geysers, and it was this geysers which was corrupted into geezers. While that explains the origin of the word, how on earth did it come linked to all British men as opposed to just these performers? Well, that seems to have happened because these original geysers slash geezers were seen as being a bit odd, and eventually all odd and even old men were compared to them as being called geezers. It's still pretty common for the term to be linked with old, with old geezer being a popular British term for older men. Now however, geezers are definitely not just linked with odd and old men. Pretty much anyone can be a geezer, or I'm gonna get my South London roots out here, a, pro a geezer as that's how I would speak I guess, if I never left South London. Maybe I do sound like that anyway. I don't know. Gazer. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe if I never left, that's what I would sound like. Who knows? If I didn't have to talk properly for a living. Strange. Though perhaps one of the newest British terms for men to emerge has to be man them. This, like geezer, also originated from London, but specifically the Afro Caribbean people of London. Man them is a British Caribbean corruption of the words man and them. The accent and casual word ordering used by Afro-Caribbean British people allowed it to evolve into mandem. It's even been shortened to just mans, as in man's not hot. Finally, I need to give a quick shout out to mate and dude, as people are probably thinking oh, I've forgotten about them. Mate is seemingly British in origin and is used a lot here, but hasn't got the most interesting etymology, just coming from an older Germanic word for friend. Mate has become synonymous with another English-speaking nation on the other side of the world, however, and that's something we could probably talk about another time. And dude, while a great word, is actually distinctly American English in origin, but it's found a home here too. A lot of these terms have a special place in my heart. As a British man who interacts with other British men on a regular basis, their words I use quite a lot. Yet, it's something of a shame that so many of these words are linked with just men. What about people of other genders? Thankfully, in this day and age, these words are becoming more commonly used with people of other genders. Anyone can really be a chap or a bloke. It's just a word. Just use it whoever you want to use it with if they're happy with you calling it them. That's, that's just my mantra in life, I guess. There are some specific feminine words too, like gal, lassie, and gal them. And even terms like ladet have popped up too. Perhaps as the language evolves, more terms like this will appear. But for now, us British blokes have an awful lot of names. This really just relates to the UK. However, I would love to know if other countries and languages have terms like this. So please tell me about them in the comments. Also, please suggest a topic down below that we could cover in next Monday's Name Explain video. It could be about literally anything and the subject area can be as niche or broad as you like. I will then choose three of those topics and place them in a poll for my patrons to vote on. Then the winner from that poll will be the topic covered in next Monday's Name Explain video. You can vote in that poll as well as enjoy many other great benefits by visiting patreon.com forward slash name explain which will be linked down below and by donating just one dollar a month. Thank you. And Nietzsche knows then. Are we going to keep that in? Yeah, let's keep that in. Anyway, that's more than enough for myself. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm NameExplainYT. And don't forget to join the Facebook page, Friends of NameExplain, 
where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay all, take care. Sounding good? Yeah, let's go. I love this first one. Kate's picked up an image for itself, however. Is that again? In recent decade, decades? Can't say that. Just get up to all sorts of shenanigans. Shall we? Shall we? Share? Shall we? Say? Shenanigans? Shall we? Shenanigans? Shall we say? Oh, that's hard. But your hurt. Barely spoken today. Majority hurt. Hatreds of super facts. Oh, my voice went there. Do we do have a couple theories? Boost, boost of which? Boost, boost, boost of which? A boosting which? <laughs> Interesting. Let's carry on. Well, look forward to this one. I can't believe it's been like eight years I haven't talked about the word geezer yet. Let's do this. Geezer is linked to a specific situation. 